Hiya, I'm Laura and I'm a Geography graduate from the University of Worcester. This video is going to explain about the use of terrestrial laser scanners within geographical fieldwork. Traditional survey methods include using GPS or a total station to collect ground point measurements. The total station is positioned and levelled over a known point, which requires one person to operate the machine. Another person is required to hold a survey rod with a prism attached, which is positioned over unknown points. The surveyor moves along the site taking individual measurements. The signal generated by the total station is reflected back to the prism, calculating the distance between the outgoing and the returning signal. Taking individual point measurements like this is a timely process, therefore their spatial extent is often limited. Terrestrial laser scanning is also known as ground-based LiDAR. This is an alternative survey method which is able to rapidly collect highly dense data. The laser scanner is positioned onto a tripod and visible targets are placed around the survey site. Setting up a scan is relatively easy from the main menu. The survey is able to select the resolution of the scan, depending on how dense they want the point cloud data to be. The laser scanner is able to collect between 1,000 to 10,000 points per square meter. This depends on the resolution the surveyor chooses. The scanner rotates in a clockwise direction, is able to measure everything in a 360 degree field of view. Once the scan is complete, the surveyor must pick the targets using the built-in camera in the terrestrial laser scanner. Target identification is an important process in terrestrial laser scanning. It is important to pick the centre of the target each time so that the data is more accurate. Once all of the targets have been picked, the laser scanner then automatically points towards each target and individually scans each one. Registering targets like this allows multiple scans to be aligned together more accurately. Once all of the scan data has been collected, it can be loaded onto a point cloud software such as Cyclone. Usually, multiple scans have been taken from different vantage points and therefore need to be aligned using target-based registration. Overlapping scans are joined together by matching up the target locations. This then creates a highly dense point cloud of the survey site. Thousands of points have been collected from this high resolution scan. It would be impossible to collect such dense data in such a short amount of time using traditional survey methods such as a total station survey. Although the TLS is able to collect fast and dense data with only one person operating the machine, this survey method does have its disadvantages. For example, the terrestrial laser scanner is weather restrictive as the wet surfaces can be too reflective for it to be able to receive a laser signal and rain can also interfere with the laser beam. This also means that riverbeds usually cannot be measured unless the water is clear, like in this example. The point cloud can then be cleaned to remove any unwanted points. Once the point cloud has been cleaned, it can then be interpolated to create a digital elevation model which allows the topography of a site to be characterised. These topographic models can then be used for habitat modelling, flood routing, flow hydraulics and to monitor geomorphic change.